Hello and welcome Velocity Banking students, Kingdom citizens, and new people. How you doing? My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. And today I have a special guest with me by the name of Glenn Payne, who is the uh, founder of Legacy Lives Here. And he's going to be talking about the Legacy Conference, which I am a speaker at. Uh, very excited to uh, be coming to this event, attending it for the first time, but also having the ability to speak as well. I'm also a sponsor for the Legacy Conference, which is a, it's an honor and privilege, just the way this all kind of came together. Uh, so without yes. any further ado, I'm going to, I'm going to pass it over to you, Glenn, just to give us a little introduction about yourself, uh, who you are and how the, the Legacy Conference came to be, give a little origin story on that. And, and we'll just kind of flow in terms of the questions, uh, and other thoughts that you might want to share. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for, for being on, having me on tonight with your show. Um, the Legacy Conference, you can all say that happened just out of circumstance of oops and passion. I always say sometimes your purpose, when purpose collides with, with your origin, it, it, it brings about something great. So first of all, I will say my name is Glenn Payne. Yes, I am the founder of Legacy Lives Here. My wife and I are the founders of Legacy Lives Here. And it started out with a passion just to do FPU, Financial Peace University with Dave Ramsey in my local church. Before I even got married, I did the course. When I got engaged, I said, baby, you gotta do this class before we move on. She took it and we fell in love with it to the point we had to do it in our local church. During that time of doing FPU, I realized there was one thing that was missing. I was only reaching those in church. What about those outside of church? Right. So one day during devotion, God said, hey, you need to do it, do a different do a workshop outside of church, gather people outside to bring them in and let them see and hear the, the good news of finances. As you preach yourself, the finances according to the kingdom. Out of that came the Legacy Conference. The very first campus we had, we paid for everything, meaning food, everything. We went home looking like two crazy folks wondering, what did we just do? But the, the accomplishment and the goal that we set out was met with great success. People walked away with lives being changed, transformed. And this is now our fifth year. Even during COVID-19, we still pivoted now to be online. This is our first year being back in person after COVID. And we are super excited for Legacy Conference this year. And the theme for this year is rise up because it's time to rise up and take back your rightful position. Awesome. So you said five years, right? Five years. This is going to be your, this is going to be the fifth one coming up in 2022. Correct. Right. Right. So you did, you did two online. Uh, yes. 2020, 2020 and 2021 was online. 2019 oh. was the last year in person. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, just give us the location, uh, times and dates, because I do have audience all across the U.S. that and, and some of my clients would be willing to actually fly in and potentially uh, come meet me and attend this event. So if you could just sure. give us the details, times, dates and, and sure, that's sure. sure. That would be my pleasure. So the event is taking place October 22nd here in sunny South Florida at the Global Event Center. I can drop the address is 416 Northeast First Street in Fort Lauderdale. We also, for those traveling in, as you mentioned, we do have hotel accommodations. Just have to go on the website and choose the accommodations link and get, book your room. Um, the conference again is October 22nd. The theme is Rise Up and tickets can be purchased through the link Legacy C O N F 22.eventbrite.com. So Legacy Conf C O N F 22.eventbrite.com. Gotcha. So this is a a one whole day event right one whole then, day from 11 from 11 to about five or six okay. depending and in that in that also we're having not just the speakers you know having the time of, of pouring out we also are celebrating our honorees by having a legacy award celebration in the mix of the event so we're honoring people in the community not only here in south florida but in texas um, one person from D Washington, D.C. So we're bringing in people to honor them, celebrate them for what they're doing in the community, being legacy builders. That's interesting. So talk, talk, 
a little bit about that part. And if I'm not mistaken, there's also a, a day before that, October 21st, something going on as well for people well, who the, the 20th, purchase. Yes. Yeah. The, tw the 21st was actually um, postponed. We decided to do everything in one day, the 22nd. Oh, got it. Okay. Yes. Yes. It was much more feasible to move everything 22nd only and do all activities in then. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people were flying and said it was best for them also. So it turned out to be great. So yes, the event is celebrating the honorees and also still doing a conference on the 22nd. And it's going to be crazy. Lovely. I can't wait for it to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so talk a little bit about this honoree awards how does it work sure. and, and this is obviously it's not something i typically hear at at kind of business events or conferences people honoring people in the local community for for efforts of a certain mm -hmm. degree or pathway exactly. i'm assuming so yeah exactly. just dive into that explain what that's sure. all about and how it started so the award is the award is called legacy builders it first originated in 2019 uh, where we went into the community and looked around to see who was actually making a change in our local community. So the, although it's called Legacy Builders, is like the unsung, unsung hero, the one who never gets noticed in the community, but they are doing great work in the community. It could be in the, either in financial, it could be in um, healthcare, community activists. Um, like this year, we have an individual who is an ambassador across the country. She goes around global and she impacts communities, empower women across the world to be entrepreneurs and business operators. Um, we have one, Dr. Jessica Clements. She is what we call the kingdom financier. She generates generational wealth through teaching others the same way using Forex to generate wealth. So her whole background and what I call her title this year for the award is the ch generational chain breaker. So this year we have different categories. We have the ch generational change breaker. We have the humanitarian. We have the empowerment one. We have the change maker. The change maker is someone who is making a change in our community, impacting the youth. So this year we have none other than Genevieve Harris, and she's our official change maker award honoree this year. She has made such an impact in the community, working with teenagers to get them to be entrepreneurs, changing their mindset, start thinking ahead, so they can be way ahead of us when they are ready to leave college, going to, off the college. So she's really empowering individuals in the community. And the whole aspect of the legacy builder is those that are making incredible changes in our community for the better. Wow, that's powerful. That's that's definitely uh, matching up with the theme of, of rising up where you know you're, you're honoring these people and the people that attend the event um don't even expect probably won't even expect this coming but they see these people who are doing impactful things and maybe that can add a little spin into what they're doing in their business or can exactly you know, motivate them to think a little bit differently on in terms of how we impact people's lives um how we help people say whether it's increase their income or fix their finances yeah, exactly. but, but also encouraging like a you know a dose of generosity like how can we give what what strategic projects can we get involved in so i know that'll that'll definitely spark a lot of ideas so legacy builders you said 2008 is when 2000 it's... and 2019 was the first 2019 year we did i'm sorry yeah so 2019. yeah but there's actually one of our honorees who was a speaker before and she attended legacy conference 2019 she's an entrepreneur multi-level entrepreneur entrepreneur and she came to the event didn't want to come originally because she was so tired you know being at work and all day long making her business grow she came and <laughs> she walked out with her life totally being transformed mm. she will talk about legacy all day long she said legacy conference impacted her life how she does business how she thinks about making money now is differently it's not just making money for now but what can what impact can i make in the future to leave a legacy behind so um her being honored this year is actually tremendous she is ecstatic because she has since leaving legacy 2019 she has helped many individuals in the community to open their own salon suites and build their dreams in other words letting dreams become alive and live it so that's why this year she's been honored with that as a trailblazer gotcha gotcha now in addition 
to this yes. jam-packed day that we have here on October 22nd in, in South Florida. Um, in addition to the honorariums and the people who are getting acknowledged for the impact that they're making, when when someone comes to the Legacy Conference who's never been there before, um, what are what are some tips or you know kind of guide guidelines that people should either prepare themselves for or what to expect or kind of how to operate when I do come to this event? What should I be expecting uh, when I arrive? Right. Any any tips on that in terms of just the overall experience and how to really maximize your time when you come to uh, an event? I would say when you come to Legacy Conference, according to or because of course many attendees in the past, they always say, come hungry, come empty, meaning you are coming to receive all you can get from these speakers because we have speakers that are coming on the stage that typically if you went to see them face to face, they will be charging you higher fees or you could not have access to them. So I'm, the first thing I would say is come hungry, come empty to get poured in. We have great speakers such as yourself on the stage talking about finances. Um, come ready to write, take notes. You can record certain segments, not saying sit there and record everything, but take snippets of what you're going to gather. Make it applicable. Speak to the speakers thereafter. There will be an opportunity to even have a, a you can go up to speakers, interact with them, um, have time to network with different individuals in the community who will be in the building. So this is a high energy, high impact environment where you're coming to learn, grow, network is also a high critical portion meeting with different business owners, becoming connected. Like yourself, you've already connected with some of our speakers. You've already faced us to bring synergy. When you come to events like this, you're not just coming to this, oh, it's another conference. You right. come with a mindset to say, I'm here to receive, take back and grow and build my legacy. Because after all, the, 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 the name of the nonprofit is Legacy Lives Here. Mm -hmm. Why, what are you gonna leave behind? Because each of us are walking legacies. What then will be left behind? So we're trying to encourage others to do the same by acknowledging that legacy truly is in each of us and we have to move forward and build rich legacies for generations to come. So the whole aspect is come hungry, come ready to learn, be all ready to have fun. It's a fun atmosphere. Can't wait to have you there. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, uh, that was a, a big reason why I asked that, because, you know, like many of us who are here watching this, uh, watching the recording, um, often will go to either networking events or seminars, workshops, business oriented events. And sometimes we'll either get overwhelmed with a lot of information and we really don't know how to exercise all the new things that they learned. And then there's people who have, like myself, been to tons of events and sometimes we don't know how to come hungry. Uh, we come with all this experience, all this baggage and so it, and and we we throw that on this other event and we kind of devalue the experience instead of like you said coming hungry coming ready to receive uh coming with an open mind right really surrendering what we think we know and allowing mm -hmm. ourselves to to take in new data right we may have to pivot some of the information that we already have as it relates to building a business building a legacy um really considering the fact that look um something just happened in 2020 that literally affected the whole world in so many different ways so having the conference now say two years later and discussing hey how do we lead in the midst of a crisis right um how do how do we lead our how do we grow our businesses after all of these things has happened right we're living in a time where over the last two years many of the things in addition to to covid but a lot of the other things that came with it no business owner no billionaire no multi-millionaire no legend speaker has ever actually been through it no. so i see this crisis as not a disaster or a time to be in in fear or a time to hide but rather this is one of the greatest opportunities uh in a lifetime because the playing field just got leveled completely right when that's we look the funny part way. of it that's why this theme is rise up rise there's up. no time like never to rise up is now if you don't rise up 
then when would you rise up exactly you've, you've gotten you've gotten a fre- the 2000 and 2021 gave us time to really think for those who sat that during a time of quiet time of rest you may have been panicking yeah but you had time to relax and think about the future this is now the time where you take all that thoughts all that plans and put into action now so for business owners entrepreneurs those who've been trying to get their life back together after this pandemic this is not a time to rise up truly it's time to rise up honestly just time to rise up <laughs> oh, you yeah, said that, it right there that, that gets me excited because i'm like yeah the, and i already am feeling that energy amongst other uh, nominated speakers i myself already started reaching out to speakers and those who are watching as we're recording this session right now uh towards the in the middle of august right so by, by the time you guys watch this might be towards the end of august but understand there's like a whole month and a half gap here uh between now and the event and so this is an amazing opportunity for those who have already purchased their ticket just because I told you about it. I know who you are. Those are my clients. Those are my super fans, my loyal subscribers that uh, either live locally in South Florida or are willing to drive down maybe from Orlando um, or even fly in from different states. I can't wait to uh, uh, meet you guys in person and connect. But I would encourage those who are business owners or aspiring to start a business soon or make a pivot in a career or learn a new skill. I encourage you guys look at the speaker lineup. Uh, Glenn here and myself uh, are making posts and there's these flyers all on Facebook showing who the speakers are. It shows their names and their faces. And nowadays it's the easiest thing. All you gotta do is go on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, exactly. type, in, type in their first last name and start doing your homework on them and start looking these speakers up. This way, as an attendee, this is a, a major tip in terms of how you can maximize your time when you get there is you already know who all the speakers are. Who to so, connect with, who to, speak who to, to connect everything. with, right. Do it in advance, reach out to them in advance. See if you can have a conversation with them before, let them know you're attending the event. And maybe you can schedule, you know, a quick, maybe 10, 15 minutes after the event's over or during, during the break when they're not speaking and you can figure out, you know, uh, that's what I do when I attend events. Oh, yeah. I, I, I look up the speakers, I start following them, I'll DM them, I'll message them. And that's what I'm doing. Even as a speaker, I'm reaching out to other speakers. I'm like, hey, by the way, we're on the same flyer together. Thought it'd be great if we have a conversation, potentially collab, see where it goes, you know? Um, so before we uh, close out here, I would like you to uh, uh, just kind of talk about how we first connected and <laughs> kind of walk my audience through the through this process of, of me getting connected to you, us having conversations in and out, and eventually yeah. it, you feeling it in your heart to to have me as a speaker, have I me mean, as a speaker and how all that just kind of worked out in, in, in God's favor. Because I think that was shocking. I, I, I talked to my girlfriend about it. I said, um, I was telling my closest uh, of friends and family, I'm like, I don't even know how this thing happened, but it's happening. And it's, it's, it's really cool. So if you could explain it from your point of view, I think it'd be really cool. So for my thing is this, when God does something, he does something amazing and always on point without any hiccups. It may seem like a hiccup for us, but it's always for his good and benefit. So when I first, um, how we first connected was, I believe you reached out and say, Hey, um, I see this event. I'm interested. Um, can you talk, can we, can we connect and see if we are a good fit, which is actually a very good thing you did. Meaning not every person you should connect with in business in life and everything. Some people come for a reason, a season, and some come for a lifetime. And right. you don't want to get connected to someone who is only for a reason or a season. I believe our relationship now has gone to a lifetime stage because I'm actually entrusting you to be on the stage. So when we first met, you, you, we had a conversation on, on a call. We realized that we had such synergy in terms of our financial background and different aspects of communication, how we had the same faith of knowing that he is the true living one. And then you said, hey, you know what? I want to sign on. I want to become a sponsor. A few weeks later, uh, I was looking for a person to take the role for the financial portion. And I kept hearing your name. I said, okay, let me go pray. Cause I don't ever make a decision though asking the one who gave me the vision, who should be on the stage. I met, I, I called you and said, Hey, I have a crazy question to ask you. Are you local? Yeah. 
how local is local? I'm right in Fort Lauderdale. And you asked me, I asked you a few fees, like what's your cost? What your expectations are? And you just said, listen, I'm here to so serve and grow and help others. And the connection from there has just been extremely powerful. God has known how to connect people together for this time and season to take this generation of believers, kingdom citizens to the next level. And that's why I'm so happy that our connection grew in that way. Just a simple phone call, simple social media. I tip you all the time, social media works when you use the right way yeah. and when you know the king. Because... <laughs> <laughs> every person you connect with as i said before some come for a season some come for a reason some come for a lifetime mm -hmm. and you got to make making business decisions you gotta know the source connect with them and what you did um denzel was quite amazing you said hey can we talk to see if we align and that's where the connection from there grew yeah that that was awesome i i i enjoyed that experience you know a, a, a lot of the times that you had you called and you reached out i was like on the road driving my mind wasn't even like on it like i wasn't even really thinking and here you are praying preparing and and thinking so it's like it, it's so amazing this is a testimony for those who are watching that are going to attend this event or you're considering attending this event or maybe you can attend this event, but you know you'll attend it next year, right? Or you'll get plugged in, right? Because there's other opportunities to get plugged in before, during, and after this event, right? The Legacy Conference and then the the Legacy Lives Here organization. There's there's other ways yes. to get plugged in. I'll make yes. sure I've got, you know, the website, the links, all that uh, in the description and comment sections below so that we all can uh, communicate. You guys can get your tickets. But this is a testimony from from my perspective now. I'm someone I'm 26 years old. I've got no qualifications, no certifications, um, didn't go to college, you know, so when when you truly surrender what you think, you know, and rely solely on the king to provide the wisdom, the authority, the confidence for you to move forward in your skills, gifts and talents to be a servant, to be a steward or manager right over God's provision uh, it is amazing what he what he does and how he affects other people's hearts to change their minds according to his will to put you in a position where where you can prosper where where everybody prospers you know like you said a lifetime relationship and I, and I that was a good takeaway for me people come for a reason a season or they're coming for a lifetime and that is not easy i i personally i don't think it's easy to determine between the three so you, i'm pretty sure you've got some experience in this department but i know for <laughs> me, i've experienced people who have worked with me for a reason and i believe i i've experienced people who have been with me for a season and then after say evaluating and observing someone's fruit over a period of time it it, it helps it. yeah it helps does identify yeah this person just might run with me for the next 20 40 60 years till death do us part so to speak like that's that's what this attitude of this so, so what you're saying right there right there right there that's, that's trouble right there so here's the thing i can jump with a few nuggets right there so what you said a while ago till death do us part that sounds like marriage so imagine if you got married to someone who's only meant to be there for a season. When the oh. season ends and you're still married to the person, then what kind of marriage will you be having? Oh, oh yeah, a draining one. <laughs> yeah, you'd be drained because you're, you're, you're not growing together. Mm -hmm. You're not in synergy together. Marriage is about synergy. Think of the Holy Ghost, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, they're all in one, unison. So if you are not with a partner who is in for it forever or a, a lifetime, then you're not going to be well. So here's a, here's a quick nugget. So the reason why I say a reason, a reason could simply be the leaves on a tree. Think of a tree analogy. A tree, leaves, branches, trunk, roots. The mm -hmm. root is the lifetime. The ones who will be there to support you, no matter what seasons come in your life, they'll be there to support you, carry you, feed you, because the roots give water, nourishment. So you're there for your well nourished. The trunk, same principle. Now we got the branches, which is considered what? The season. When 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 times come, but hardship and once when to hold you up, they carry you for a time until you can then what? Walk on your own. 
Mm. The reason are the leaves, they come, but when winter comes now, when hard time comes, they blow away. Yeah. They only came in just for timing, but they leave. They came to maybe encourage you You're in an elevator one day. And the person said, hey, Dan Denzel, keep your eyes on God, man. He got you. Just that simple word. Yeah. And he, they disappear. They came for that one reason. Right. And and to not neglect or, or you know, for people who are like, okay, so I'm just going to avoid all the people who are for seasons and for reasons. Well, eh, no. not necessarily no. because no, not necessarily. like you said, you, you may just need that person for just a season exactly. or exactly. just a reason they're there for the leaves for the time being yes. event to blow away because they have to go to the next tree. Each let's person. say, right. They have to go to the exactly. next person. So you have to take, yeah. you have to, you know, receive, not take, but receive what they've given you and move forward with it. And then you go to your inner circle, your root people, um, and, and keep growing that, that knowledge, that wisdom, that, that fruit, uh, and continue to multiply. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to show myself approved. I'm excited to, to study and to learn, uh, and to be a student. Although I'm the one that will be speaking and sharing, uh, just know that for those who attend this event, I am going to make myself very available. You know, you come up to me in the, in the hallway, on the way to the bathroom, on the way out, uh, at before the event starts, after the event's over, I will make myself available. That is something that I like to do that just kind of sets, really sets the standard of, of, of measure to really maximize someone's experience there. So as we bring this uh, conversation to a close here, if you could just reiterate dates and times of the event, um, where people can go to register, um, also mention your uh, social medias, and your website yes. how people can get yes. plugged in in advance sure uh and and figure out un unique ways that they can grow in their business both spiritually you know physically mentally all the areas because this whole event is about rising up to the occasion walking into your purpose and you're going to be given a series of strategies with a, a exactly. whole lineup of, of speakers and the whole idea again to not get overwhelmed do a little homework in advance see who the speakers are and really hone in okay i want to listen to this guy and this woman you know i want to make sure i'm present and take my notes and I, I know these are the two areas that i'm gonna you know run with and then these other areas maybe will go on the back burner or they'll get started another season so being able to really identify that is is very key when attending a business event not everything discussed is going to be of use to you right then and there exactly. but it can be over time but being able to prioritize, I think is very key. And so I just want to reiterate that to my audience, for those who have attended events in the past, maybe had a bad experience, or you're looking to, this is your first type of business event. And here are some, you know, pregame work, pregame tips to, to really take away with. So back to you. So that, yeah, that's definitely one thing you mentioned a while ago that a lot of people will always say, when you go into a conference, you got to, all those speakers are going to be coming to do interactive, hands-on when you walk when you leave the day of the conference you will have strategies and things to put in a place right then and there to take home with you not just wondering what am i going to do with it it's going to be right there strategically placed that you can just take it up apply it and move on um the event is october 22nd in sunny south florida rise up is a theme for this year or fifth year tickets can be purchased at legacy conf 22 dot eventbrite.com conf is c-o-n-f 22.com i can be found at legacy lives here that's all my 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 extensions for social media twitter everything is like legacy lives here our website is legacylivesherecom or dot org takes the same place and i can reach them at a time and we got some great speakers who are talking about debt-free college send your kids to school without any debt that's incredible we got someone talking about grants funding how to get your business funded how to get grants a pr and business strategist forex trainer denzel himself the man of the hour starting off the event that's gonna be amazing 
We have an attorney who deals with business and also legacy proof in your life. And we got so much more. It's incredible. I can't wait to have all these speakers on stage to empower all who attend the Legacy Conference. Once again, it's time to rise up. October 22nd, tickets are available. Also, if you're flying in, if you visit our website on the Legacy Lives Here, go to Legacy Conference portal, you will see accommodations already listed for your travel pleasures. Beautiful. Thank you for your time, Glenn. I really appreciate Thank you. it. Awesome. Can't wait to attend, meet you in person, shake your hand, possibly give you a big hug uh, just because we're engaging in a lifetime relationship here. So there's going to be some some love involved, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can't wait. Um, and I'm excited again. If you're attending the event and you're a, a subscriber of mine, you're a client of mine, go ahead and send me a DM or uh, email me directly we can potentially set up a time to, to speak at the event either before it starts after during I, I will I tend to make myself very available where I, I I tend to block out you know a day before day after so I can really absorb the entire event you know number one prepare absorb and really make sure whoever I connect with I, I retain those relationships and they don't they don't they don't die you know because the follow-up is key right following up That's is key cool. whenever you network so i've got my my systems in place for that and excited to meet everyone again my name is denzel rodriguez personal finance geek of the 21st century have a wonderful day god bless and we'll be talking soon <laughs>